G'day, today I'm talking about hypertension, what it is and how, why it's bad and how do you get it. What is it? Hypertension, hyper meaning high, tension in this case meaning blood pressure. So that's all it is, high blood pressure. Um, people are called hypertensive once their systolic is above 140 or their diastolic blood pressure is above 90 and the higher it is the worse so somebody with a blood pressure of 180 over 150 um, is going to be in a bit of trouble health wise okay so why do we study it well we study it because it's important it's um there's a lot of evidence out there that hypertension will decrease your life in expectancy um, it's also a risk factor for a host of other problems such as atherosclerosis and kidney damage so um, just to talk about the life expectancy really quickly um, if, you're, if at 40, 45 years of old age your um, blood pressure is at 120 um, that'll mean that on average your life expectancy is going to be about 77 if it's 130 over 90 then you're looking at 70 or 140 over 95 you're looking at 71 and if you're 150 at 45 150 over 100 at 45 your life expectancy on average is in this one study um, is only 65 years old so we can see here why hypertension is something you want to avoid and definitely treat. Okay. So there's two types of hypertension. We have essential, also known as primary, and we have secondary. Today I'm mostly going to be talking about essential. Um, Essential hypertension is what 95% of hypertension is, whereas secondary is just 5%. So we can see that clinically, essential hypertension is um, much more important. Doesn't mean secondary hypertension isn't important, but not many people have it. Um, essential is basically from a unknown or non-specific cause, so it could be lots of different factors causing it. Whereas secondary, um, by definition, is from a specific specific known cause, so that could be renal, it's kidneys, um, say chronic renal failure, or it could be endocrine, so some sort of hormonal problem, um, or a lot of other things. Okay, so let's talk about essential. Um, there's risk factors for having essential. Um, the big ones um, that you can change um, Diabetes type 2, um, well, they're modifiable in the sense that you can avoid them. Um, lifestyle, so that's if you are inactive. Obesity, specifically central, so that's a, a big waist, a big belly, that's in that sort of area. Um, smoking okay and so that's the ones that you can change which is usually the, the focus of oh, and drinking that's drinking alcohol including binge drinking okay um, so that's that and then the ones that you cannot um, really change that we have no control over is age, hypertension increases with age, and genetics. So if you have a family history, um, so that's the big ones there. Um, there's other things that, smaller kind of things that people talk about that there isn't as, as much evidence for um, that I know of, and that's high salt diet. Um, 
is actually a bit controversial um, and also something called a type A personality um, which is also a little bit controversial uh, somebody with type A personality is just somebody who's high strung really uh, someone who's a bit more stressed or more stressed uh, and that's probably the reason why that uh, causes increased uh, sympathetic nervous activity okay so that's the risk factors if you can read that All right. now what's the cause or the mechanisms um, there's three three main mechanisms um, for hypertension uh, the big one is inappropriate sympathetic activity appropriate a sympathetic nervous system that is yep um, and what that does is that it increases your cardiac output increases and if we remember uh, what the cause of uh, what defines blood pressure it's BP equals cardiac output times times or plus <laughs> so PP equals cardiac output and total peripheral resistance So if we increase the cardiac output, we increase the blood pressure. So that's a big thing, sympathetic nervous system activity. And what's another one? Uh, the other mechanism is endothelial dysfunction. Causing increased release of vasoconstrictors, constrictin factor, vasoconstrictors, such as endothelin. Or and that or it could also decrease vasodilators such as nitric oxide such as NO no vasodilators such as NO and what does this do that will increase your total peripheral resistance And what's the other one? The other one is inappropriate activation of your renin angiotensin aldosterone system, also known as RAS. I'm just going to write RAS. So that's your renin angiotensin aldosterone system. So when RAS is activated, you're going to get more angiotensin 2 and that has a whole lot of effects that increase your blood pressure um, it causes vasoconstriction and it also 
causes decrease urine output. directly and by also promoting aldosterone so that's a decrease here in output there equals increased blood volume increasing internal peripheral resistance so we can see there Okay, so they're the mechanisms. Now, just quickly to relate this back to our earlier um, So just quickly relating this back to our risk factors. What were the big ones? Age. So, where does that fit in? Well, I'd probably say increases endothelial dysfunction and your ass. I'm not sure if it increases your nervous system activity or not. Then we have obesity. Change that colour a bit. So what does obesity do? Um, so obesity um, can cause diabetes and generally insulin resistance. insulin resistance which in turn causes increased glucose in your blood now this increased glucose um, actually has effects on the nervous system yeah. which in turn can also affect the the RAS there and it can also promote RAS automatically. So that's how obesity works there. Uh, alcohol. Oh, that it can affect your radiotensin system. You can imagine if all the stuff you're drinking. Um, smoking. Can cause endothelial dysfunction as well as sympathetic, sympathetic nervous system activity. Is it's a stimulant. So that's a big one. Which other things I talk about? Genetics. Well, that's complicated and is probably all of them. Yeah. And what was our next one? I looked at. We go up here. I talked about diabetes, lifestyle, smoking, drinking, age genetics, salt diet. So an increase in salt, you can imagine um, the more salt you have, the more you pee, the more you pee, the more RAS can be activated. So it probably works largely in there. Um, and then we talked about the type A personality, which if you remember was essentially somebody who's just quite a high strong, and that'll work in there. Stress. So that's it. That's uh, all this messy. All this mess here is uh, the basics of uh, what causes hypertension um, at a very basic level. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, in my next video, I'll talk about what hypertension does to your body, and then we'll look at treatment.